we did a deep research project and it output, I think it was a 35 page, 30 to 40 page deep research project that on first glance looked phenomenal, looked great, but it had dozens of sources and yeah. I didn't have time to vet them. So I actually gave that project to an intern who knows how to vet sources. And I said, I just want you to go through and verify the legitimacy of the sources that are in here. You, you can go through and do that and leave comments. So we had her do that. Mm -hmm. Then I turned it over to Mike and I said, hey, we want to build a research arm. We want to do more real-time research. You now need to go through this document and you need to vet it the way we would vet it as if someone else on the team wrote it. Yep. I couldn't give that second part of that workflow to a manager. It has to be Mike. It had to be me or Mike. It was the only two people that we could verify and then stand behind it and be confident in the outcome. Mm. That might be a perfect example of how anybody can do the first part as long as they're trained to do some basic verification, but the expertise got to come from somebody on high. Yeah, that, I think it's a, exactly an example of kind of what I'm getting at, that, that low end and high end is going to be almost in tandem pretty important here, I think. And maybe there's just, maybe the management arm is largely just literally the management of the AI agents when it isn't a high risk, high liability mm -hmm. environment where it's really just managing workflows. And I, I don't know, I don't know. Workflow management. Yeah. yeah. In a lot of cases.